and ready for a flood test and then ready for tile. <laughs> Okay, so day three, we're going to waterproof the shower floor. So, we got the sheet membrane. We have the banding. Where did I put that? Anyway, the inside corners. And the banding. So I'm going to put an inside corner in each of every one of those corners and then put the sheet membrane on the entire thing. Okay, so I pre-cut all the banding so that I, when I mix my thin set, all I have to do is just install it. Now I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to cut my sheet membrane. Okay, so... It's all sealed up and waterproof. I uh, forgot to turn on my camera to show you how to do it, but I have uh, several videos that go right over all these details, so I'll link to those in the description, or actually I'll link to those in the cards and in the end screen. But anyway, so we got, I actually have probably like a six inch overlap over there. I have probably like a, 10 inch overlap over here and like a six, five or six inch overlap over here. The minimum overlap is two inches, but if you do more, it's not gonna hurt. So the drains all cut out. I put a little test plug in, both of them, put some water in there. So tomorrow I can flat test it. So if I come back and there's no water in those over there where the, the test plug is, that means it's leaking and I'm gonna have to uh, fix the test plug before I actually do the flood test on the shower stall because I don't want to have a leaking plug test and think that it's a leaking shower. So anyway, I'm ready for a flood test and then ready for time. <laughs> 